at the Peacock Auto Mall on media day with the most recognizable coaching face in the low country. He's just wearing a different colored shirt for the second year now. <laughs> Mark Clifford, Buford Academy, coming off a state championship. How much fun was that? It was a blast. We all had fun. Kids had fun. We were real, real uncertain about everything at the beginning of the year. They didn't know me. I didn't know them. And it's just, just through hard work through hard work and that practice field we just got we came together and everybody got to know each other and had some pretty good athletes had a pretty good team and things worked out you thought you knew everything about football all those years at Buford High how much did you learn changing to the eight-man game and and with a new group of kids it's eight-man football <laughs> yeah oh god I didn't know that no really that's kind of how it was because I was stressing it so much and when you get out there you know it's just football it's still football, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just football. And it's a, it's, it's just a numbers game, and uh, they got eight, we got eight, and uh, called the formations the same, ran the same offense. I ran at Buford, just uh, um, had a quarterback who could run and had some good receivers, had a, had a long snapper, had a holder, had a kicker, had a punter, and just had everything you needed for a good football team. <laughs> With the eight-man game, though, there certainly seems to be, from what I've seen from all the scoring, a lot more points happening. There's a lot of space. Yeah, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of space. lot of space out there, and that's why defense is so important. If you know, if we can, if we can, if we can get a couple stops on defense, things will work out. That's all you got to do. You lose to Sean Epps, uh, who had such a spectacular year last year, yep. but you got a bunch of guys back. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you feel about this year's. Bunch. Well, we lost Epps, we lost McCormick and Richards, so that's. Uh, uh, we, we got everybody back, so we're keeping everything the same, and uh, it's same practice schedule, same everything, same program, and uh, they're just a little bit more used to it right now. I'm a little bit more confident. With more space for everything to happen, when you're looking to fill positions, how important is it that you're looking a little differently at the speed of the player than it was with, you know, obviously having 11 men on the field on one side of the ball? Well, speed is important and angles are so important. Yeah. I mean, pursuit is so important in this thing. And these guys won't come off the field. You know, we'll have about three or four or five guys that, that'll probably play the whole game, offense and defense. And uh, um, you know, the angles are very important, which which on offense that helps us too. Because How up. much fun is that to be able to be on the field all the time? It's a lot of fun. You know, not everybody gets to do that. And just uh, looking back on it, going to be glad. Yeah. You, play, yeah. You're naming your position. Uh, Dawson Coleman, quarterback. Dawson, uh, yeah, you're going to have to, you get to run the show. Yeah. But then when you, when the other guys have got the ball, you still got to play. I mean, you don't get to yeah. go over and think about what I'm going to do next time. You got to right. go make tackles, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At, is that it? Which do you prefer? I prefer offense for sure, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Quarterbacks always do, though, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, off season, what's the main focus been? Uh, we've just been in the weight room all summer, you know, lifting, getting better, um, getting to know some of the new guys, and just trying to do exactly what we did last year. Coming off the state championship, what's the message going into this year? Because obviously now you have the target on your back. Right. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, we're trying to win another state championship. The message to our players is just stay focused, pretty much, and just keep doing what we're doing. Do you find anything more exciting in the eight-man game than you do if it was an 11-man game? Um, I mean, like they said over there, I get to play all the time. I get to stay on the field all the time, which is a lot of fun because I get to experience offense, defense, special teams. Any I punts mean, and kicks for us. Yeah. And you're so, punting and kicking. You don't yeah. punch. So you're definitely not coming off the field ever. Never, never. You better make sure when you get done here, you go over there and hit that lunch buffet and go ahead and feast up pretty good. <laughs> Coach, as the year went on, obviously, it being a new game for you, you certainly seemed to hit your stride. In the three playoff games you had last year, you, your team had 146 points. Well, it was uh, – um, it, it, Especially that last game that was back and forth. Well, all the games were back yeah. and forth. Uh, we did okay in the first round, and uh, um, but very important. And now um, the two point, the two point plays came yeah. were huge because a lot of people in this league, except for us, we're about the only team that kicks. And uh, but if we, we, it gets to a point in the game where <laughs> we had to go for two, you know, we go behind. But uh, it, it's fun. It's a blast. It's All a, good a stuff. Life. You want to watch some wild football on a Friday night, come watch these guys play. We're going to hope to do it at some point as well. The Buford Academy Eagles getting ready for the 2019 season.